Minnesota guys that hear that disappointment. Should be a good day, it's a bit chilly. But there's nothing out. Uh, it seems to be a really popular spot. We saw like three other groups in the car park when we got here. Uh, we chose the north side. It should be a little bit easier. As none of us had actually been to Mount Disappointment before and we just kind of heard about it and people had told us that it was a really good mountain to go to, we didn't really know what to expect. So we'll just sort of stick to the main tracks with Nathan leading as usual. He's always, unless we're up the old ways when West is really comfortable, Nathan's always the one in charge of where we're going. So I was just a little, kind of along for the ride, making sure I was having fun, challenging myself a little bit. So Nathan's so dear apparently. Which is why we stopped for a split second. Woo. There's a few descents that really challenged me during the ride, and I was starting to get a little bit better with those sort of climate rocky downhills that always gave me a bit of trouble in the past, and always, a lot of the time, I always end up dropping my bike. A little bit of it was just trying to chase Westy, really made me push a little bit and keep up that pace and try and improve my riding as I went along. That way looked a little bit hard. Ooh. Yeah, like none of us have ever been out here before. So I don't really know what to expect other than what we've read about or watch videos of other riders. Um, I haven't seen many videos around down Mount Disappointment. So far it's been a really Nice area to ride. Yeah, nice little crevices and stuff to play in. Alright, um, let's just... Whew. Let my sit past me. I really struggled up this hill to try and catch Westy because I was starting to get that little bit of the competitive edge that I'm like, I can see him, I really want to catch him down, um, but obviously he's still too good for me. This is a fun little... Oh, oh boy. Should not have stopped there. This hill climb was really tough. I found it really challenging and I'm really glad that I was on an enduro bike and not a big 
luggy adventure bike like uh, we saw a guy on a Tenere a little bit later in the video but there's no way I would have been able to manage a hill like this if I was on something a little bit heavier I struggled so much and got caught in ruts constantly you know there's still a lot of improvement to go in my riding and Nathan eventually had to take over for me um, and take it up just to, just to the top of that hill probably another 10-15 meters just because I really couldn't get going I was expecting to sack that. <laughs> After some really fun and challenging hill climbs, we sort of just hit like a little bit of a road with some sort of basic terrain. It was really easy to, for me to traverse. While we searched for something a little bit more challenging, obviously four wheel drives in this area would have struggled a little bit because of the fact that the track that was good enough was quite thin and quite narrow, uh, making it ideal for dirt bikes to just kind of flow through really easily. A little bit harder for those four-wheel drive tracks and we hit the main road. Uh, Nathan almost makes the wrong turn up here and so I, I'm like, what's he doing? He's got us going this way. So I travel up these tracks and really glad that we went up these tracks because that was so much more interesting than the road that went around. They sort of V-line into the same point so it was definitely the funner option of the two and a little bit of an opportunity to challenge myself a little bit. tracks here. Now we're flying through some of the main roads. We managed to find a little old track that was two-wheel two drive track that um, came uh, four-wheel drive track that we came through and found, and it was just a little bit too much for me in sections. So Nathan ended up taking over the bike, but as you can see, even he really struggled with some sections of it, barely getting up and having to get Westy to give him a little shove to get him through. But uh, we got there, we got there. It was a really fun little track, but it was definitely something that uh, I struggled a little bit with, and Nathan, Nathan took it upon himself to give me a hand and get me up there. After having that little scare, I was a little bit skittish um, as I almost threw myself off the bike just on the main road trying to be a little bit playful and jump off the jumps. As you would have seen before, I got very close to dropping the bike at a decent pace. We decided to take something that we thought was going to be pretty easy, but what we found was the road was completely flooded, so oh, we were having shit. to go up off these little offshoots off to the side, and I thought I'd found myself a shortcut and ended up having oh. to turn myself around. Um, with a skill that I'd learned earlier that day, um, really throwing the bike around when you're off it That's to get it to turn idea. sharper than you can get it to turn when you're on the bike. Um, but uh, that, that, that was a good opportunity to use a skill that Nathan probably taught me 40 minutes before then when we were trying to do a U-turn and he was like, you need to stop doing that. Got a stick caught yeah. in my uh, boot, or between my boot and the uh, foot peg and clean myself off and get ready to go. Sketchy. Oop. Uh, am 
I going to get up there? Nah. Oh, that was fun. Really fun, a lot of puddles and things, but it's kind of slippery in some sections, but awesome in other sections. Um, yeah, just trying to stay upright <laughs> where I can. We decided against trying to get through that sketchy thing. Because Nathan and Westy went up a little bit ahead and saw something that made them hesitate, so. Um, yeah. We'll just go this way. Back the way we came. Ooh. I learned my lesson about the uh, shortcut I tried on the way out. Uh, we obviously had to turn back because it was all too, way too sketchy for me to be going through and trying to do. So we head back to the main path and started he heading back towards our cars. Nathan and Westy went off to the left while I went, hey, this, it was kind of like one of those loops around back to the same point. So I was like, I'm just gonna be the cheeky and take this. And it was a little bit of fun. They ended up having to wait for me a little bit because I didn't realise how much extra time it would take for me to go this way and I was a little bit confused as to what, why they weren't because it was a super fun little road that always sort of hooked back in so there was no issue with taking it. Ow! That branch will stick hurt. Yeah, the uh, knee braces definitely got their money's worth today. Had one where I dropped the bike right on my knee. See if I can get down this in one piece. I reckon I can. Uh, just making friends with the dude on Tinere. We got back on track and started going through after meeting the guy with the Tenere and he overtook us as we took a break and he was out scouting uh, this little creek cross, not creek, flooded area. Um, he was just pointing out probably the best op option for us to go through and he didn't really seem keen to keep pace with us because we were going a little bit too quick for what he was comfortable doing. 
and we didn't learn the one, but he just he was just a bit um, skittish about it, and he was unsure of the part. We were a little bit unsure of whether the parts we were going to be taking were going to be something he was capable of on his Tenere, because it was one of his first times out on it. It was an older Tenere, but he'd only bought it recently. Then we started to get through, start making our way th back towards the cars, like I said before, but we're just kind of cruising along, trying to see if we can find anything else that's interesting as we go back towards the cars. When we come along through here, kind of just going on this track that uh, hasn't really been used in a while from what we can tell, and we came across something pretty interesting. find we've got here. Woo. Always find the weirdest things on uh, dirt bike rides. watching everyone make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video